Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading into the colony section for a little elk pack, I believe. Uh, I am actually sorting things by newest. This is apparently the newest map on the uh, on the map page. So uh, I'm just going to check it out, see what it is. It's an elk pack, it's Awakening. Uh, it is Lycar's first attempt at a map and mods. Uh, let's have some fun. It's apparently an easy L pack. I mean, L packs tend to be on the easier side uh, because it's just usually a matter of time. But let's see how a new map is because obviously we won't have that many thumbs yet. It's a new map, things of that sort. So let's give it a go. Uh, I am going to be doing new maps from time to time. Maybe I'll split. Whoa. Uh, after a long hibernation. Jeez, Creep loves to sleep. They're always hibernating. That's always the thing. We are always hibernating. And you know what? I. I I feel that. I feel that. Uh, the god has awoken. Creep from all around the world have rejoiced, or has rejoiced. Their time is now. The humans will not uh, take over now that their savior has arrived. There is still hope. So we are the creeper god. Not the queen. We are the god. We pray, pray to the god of anger uh, that you can save us. Your warrior Tom has been long awaited for. Interesting. Interesting. I, I have a feeling I know what that is a reference to. Uh, please save us. Uh, thank you for playing my first map and first attempt at mods. I hope I did this right, and thank you uh, to the mod makers, who I can't remember, but this is a pack, so you should already know them. Uh, I made this map after watching Angory Tom on YouTube. Actually, he got me into this game from his videos. Hashtag simp. There you go. Uh, Angory Tom is a fun channel. I do watch Angory Tom myself. Uh, Angory Tom did not get me into Creeper World, but I do enjoy it, and I do feel frustration, as I do hope to not have frustration uh, forced upon others that uh, sometimes people can do. Uh, I have done some frustration to people, and I apologize for that. So let's take a look at this map again. High level view. Uh, there's definitely some space, as you can see, some spaces here, some spaces here. So we definitely have a lot of options on where to go. Let's see what we can do. We have a skimmer factory over here. Nullified. We have a spore launcher. Nullified. We have an emitter. Nullified. And we have another emitter. Nullified. So we have a few things. They also have uh, this uh, little dangus over here that appears to be a shield wall. Their energy is fairly open, which is actually kind of nice. So if we can sort of break in, we can essentially take out all their energy. Tons of energy from trees, though. So even if we take out that energy, they at least have some decent generation from their towers still up here. So good on them. The start doesn't seem too bad. A couple of uh, mortars, a couple of cannons, nothing too excessive. I mean, <laughs> excessive match will have, maps will have like f just lines of mortars and stuff. So things seem to be fairly spread out, not too chunky, so to speak. We have boosts, eggs, and rocks, as is the standard affair for the god system. And yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. It looks like uh, this is also some crimson breeder, which is nice. Uh, it does look like there's some breeders around the map. There is a uh, split breeder there with obviously anti-creeper in it, but we will eventually take that over, I am sure. Uh, again, split breeder over here with some crimson. Uh, no breeder over here. Again, tiny bit of breeder there, which will be nice. I'm trying to see if there's other breeders around, uh, because if we can make use of that, that might be something that we could do. So there's some breeder there, uh, again, with a uh, with a sprayer on it initially. So it's not like we could necessarily do a quick egg chain to say over here. I mean, that's potential possible, but probably by the time that breeds it's not gonna be that much those mortars will destroy it so it's not like there's that much of a potential there at the moment uh let's see we have a 20 every point ooh, point 10 seconds that's an emitter right there uh the oh geez the load uh is high that is very high so basically our boosts are going to be very strong so uh this is this is pretty nice start uh the fact this is every point one seconds is amazing super fan super fan of it um, planes are already going, so let's see where the planes are. I didn't actually really... Oh, let's also turn off, of course. We want to uh, turn off the pads. Oop. That's hiding the mist. That's the pads. There we go. Uh, yeah, we definitely can go for some things. I mean, realistically, we can work on a lot of things, but first we want to just pump this bad boy up. I mean, 0.2 seconds on an emitter. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. This is this emitter, we really don't even need to do too much. It's going to take over even at this level. It's pumping out more than most emitters do when you pump 10 boosts into them already uh, because of its super fast spawning speed. And a super fast spawning emitter at the start is usually something to be very wary of. Uh, and that's because this level over here is usually set to like 5 or something. So your emitters would essentially be maxed out very, very early. 
but I can't even see what number this is. I'm guessing it's a million, maybe it's 10 million, maybe it's a billion. I don't know. It's essentially infinite, which means we can spawn an infinite amount of creep, and an infinite amount of creep for us basically means we win just with creep. Uh, we are going to save our boosts, of course. Uh, not a boost, I guess, our eggs. I do want to do some egg shenanigans, but we don't necessarily need to do that quite yet. I mean, look at this. Again, we haven't done anything other than boost, and these little baby defenses, they're not going to do too much. So how do we want to use our eggs, I guess is the question. And I think our eggs in this regard will be to take new lands, but take, like, breeders. So say, as we encroach over here with our creep, we're going to lay out some eggs to not only destroy the land, but also have enough of a pool left over that we can indeed take that. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to use the eggs for primarily here, then other destruction. Although I don't know if this is a, a breeder map. So for instance, if we put an egg here and say we destroy this pylon, is that gone forever? Or will they refresh it? Now, obviously they're probably going to destroy it before the pylon. Uh, we got a tower and the pylon. Good. Uh, let's see. Will It is an, a re, an auto build. So it does have auto build on, which is good for them. Uh, that is what you want to see. But, you know, I'm feeling pretty okay. Uh, I want to put eggs within eggs reach. And, yeah, I think we're just going to slowly encroach over here, I guess. Uh, cause some shenanigans. It really doesn't matter. This is spreading over here. I'm just doing this to sort of curtail this and sort of close the distance that we're going to need to travel eventually. Ooh, that was a double push. Did not mean to double. And you know what? Let's let's just be done with that. Uh, I'm not going to put any more into this. It's 2.20 every 0.1 seconds. It's ridiculous. But we've taken this top. Ooh. Oh, we can pop eggs manually. Yes. Okay, that's fantastic. Um, so this just sort of takes the top. We, we destroyed enough that they're not really going to be rebuilding here, which is great. Uh, and I'm not going to do too much of a push down there because, again, there's a lot of AC. Actually, we have 11 eggs. Eggs seem to be coming pretty quickly. Let's see if we were to say drop that. Uh, is this enough to not only take the AC, but to then hold the AC? And actually, I want to also drop one there, drop one there, and drop one here. Uh, and they will pop, of course, in due time. Let's pop that manually. Which pops that? Which pops that? Which pops this at the Emrift? Can I pop it in the air? No. But let's get this Emrift down, because no one likes an Emrift. Uh... There we go. Emrif down. Glorious. And this is just going to flood, of course. Uh, I mean, look at the sheer volume of creep. I wish we had mesh. Mesh would be the one thing I would want to add to this, because mesh itself would drastically change uh, what, we, what potential we have, really. Because the mesh itself would allow us to say, okay, really bring this up. You know, it is flowing. But, it, you know, you can see it's a, it's a, it's a small flow. Uh, but we're getting skimmers right off the rip, right? Skimmers, notoriously very good units. Uh, oh, that's a double push. Putting down eggs when the screen shakes, not necessarily the best thing in the world, uh, unfortunately. Uh, and as you saw, it actually bounced them in really random directions. Not where I wanted it to go. Uh, tis a shame, tis a shame, but again, not super worried. I just wanted to see how good or bad this uh, skimmer will start. It's probably going to start at one, but sometimes in L-Packs they can start anywhere. You know, I've seen them start at like six or something like that, which would be kind of cool. Uh, starts at three. Ooh, and every three minutes, yeah. Uh, not, not necessarily the best. Let's see what we can do with this. Ten in three minutes, so a little bit better. Not the best still, but that's okay. A-okay, if you ask me. Uh, yeah, feeling pretty good there. Oh, all those are super mortars. Not going to be a fan there. Uh, but we can do some shenanigans with that. But it does look like... Uh, okay, once an urn is freed, I guess they don't reuse it, which is actually pretty good to see. Again, we have taken this top side. Again, they did take the bottom back because between the anti-creep that existed... Oh, there's an emrift right there. Oh. Oh, is that the problem, you say? Okay, emrift, you're... You're going to die there. And I guess with that Emrif being dead, then they can no longer rebuild down here. So that's going to be an easy victory for us. Uh, of course, they're going to be able to destroy the Emrif, but or the creep that's here. Oh, wait, there's no mortars over here. Huh. 
you think there'd be a mortar with every cannon, you know, much like over here how there's mortar cannon pairs, but there isn't, so yeah, that's that's a, that's an easy take right there. I'll take it, I'll take it. Uh, and I guess this will, in essence, help us take this. Again, the, the, the double drop, uh, not necessarily a fan. Uh, they have no power down here. Fantastic. Uh, with no power down here comes limited responsibilities. We'll pop both of these. That that will definitely get that. This should actually clean out pretty much all the anti-creep down here. And I guess it's going to hold. Uh, again, there are some mortars. We can take out the mortars with eggs if we want. I am, as you notice, saving my, uh, my glorious rocks. We do want to save those up. Not necessarily want to have uh, too much in the way of super things later on. As you can see, there are a lot of super mortars and things on this side. And if we take out this area, we can probably take out pretty much all the super things from this side of the map. Uh, let's even just take a quick look-see. I mean, you can see it reaches. So we can take out super mortars, we can take out super things, uh, no super friends for them. Uh, we'll even toss a couple of eggs here, which will basically mean we take the top. Uh, and we'll toss a couple eggs over on this side as well. Again, we'll take the top, and yeah, that's just going to be a nice little thing to do. Yeah, there we go. Uh, these mortars will hold us back, problematically so, but <laughs> look at this stupid amount of creep at the beginning. Oh, jeez, I wish we could help it flow so much faster. Uh, and, you know, by taking areas, of course, with eggs, we are helping it flow. Uh, do we... What do we want? I mean, do we even care about spores? Do we care about this area? I mean, does this pop if it's... Or will this drop if it's there? It will. Uh, so we do have some pretty interesting shenanigan capabilities here. Of a surround. Uh, as you can see, one pops one, pops one, pops one. Uh, that's going to get most of our creep out and spread around. Uh, but... It's not necessarily the best. We are taking out some things, but they will be able to rebuild, of course. Uh, but you can see, you know, we're giving them, quote-unquote, a run for their money. Oh, I put down too many. No! Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Uh, let's see. Can we get that shield? Is that shield in range? Oh. Uh, oh, oh. Well, we got the nullifier. There we go. That works. Uh, and then we'll just beef this one up. There we go. Got the nullifier. Beef this one up. It's the same uh, proportion. Oh, and we even cut off this whole area because we uh, we cut them off with eggs there. And, well, that's, that's going to be bad news for them. Again, it's just going to produce way too fast. Our skimmers are coming out. Glorious, glorious times. I know that was a little cheap. I, I generally don't like to put uh, eggs where creep can't hit, and I like to make a line back. I just felt on this map, I mean, the creep was is coming in. I mean, there is no stopping this amount of creep from, from, from going forward. I mean, you can even see these super mortars literally barely denting it. Um, so I'm not super concerned with it. Uh, I'm going to transparent the creep real quick. I know there's a lot of action going on. Uh, not quite make it to the other side. This can, though. So, again, super mortar down. Uh, this is this is how I like to use rocks, where you just make sure it's on the edge and you know what you're killing. So now let's see. I just want to see. If this gets rebuilt, does that urn go back in? Because if that urn goes back in, then all of these being destroyed matters not. But if that urn is essentially wasted forever, uh, then we're, we're golden. Uh, okay, I get it. There's a lot. Yeah, see? No more urn. Urn's just going to float there forever. So those rocks are going to do a wondrous thing. Uh, we have eggs popping out. Yay, eggs. You're doing the most. Uh, it actually popped right here. Gave us a bit of creep, but again, we have the ultimate flow coming. Uh, not super worried about that. And we have taken this area, which means we're going to we're gonna see if we can snipe some more super... Oh, is that right on the edge? Come on, it's right there. Oh, nope, I even put it down. So, just out of range now, unfortunately. I was hoping to get a little bit closer. Again, you can't put them in the void. Uh, I was told that you put eggs in the void, though. So if we can, we can put eggs in the void. Interesting. Uh, not really helpful in this setup, but it's interesting. Oh, it didn't produce creep. It just poofed. Interesting. So even if we put it in the void, it just poofed. Not going to help. 
Uh, another emitter. We have pretty much all of our boosts that we had before. We're just going to beef this emitter up. And now that the creep is here, this surround uh, is not so much of a problem. Again, we'll get rid of the MRF. They do have a lot of mortars there, so that's going to be a slight bit of a problem. Uh, but, you know, I'm not super worried about it. You know, we can even disrupt their mortar days. Hey, yeah, look at that. One egg pops, and they're, they're, they are on it. Um, thankfully, though, this will disrupt them pretty much long enough for this MRF to go down, uh, which is great news for us. And, yeah, we'll just plop down a whole slew of those. This will destroy their towers. This will prevent them from having power. And, yeah, there goes, there goes that mortar wall. Just a few eggs. No problem whatsoever. And all power down here has been severed. So, no matter what, uh, this emitter is free. And, again, we'll beef it up feeling pretty okay about that. The nullifier will die, and we're at 2.30 every point one. Yeah. Okay, okay. So for our new map, uh, I would rate this as a good first attempt. Uh, I do think it's a little too simple with the sheer volume that you are producing, uh, so that would be my suggestion here. Uh, I do think, I do like the, you know, progression where there are emitters sporadically spread apart. I think you should start with an emitter at 0.5 or so, and then maybe a 0.4 is your second one and a 0.3. So the closer to the front you get, the stronger the emitters get, so it's more uh, front-loaded or back-loaded, depending on perspective, I suppose, uh, because you want to produce more at the front than at the back, you know? But without a limit, it really doesn't matter that much, so I do like no limit. Fantastic, especially with emitters like this. With emitters like this, you basically need no limit at that point in time. Uh, these eggs, look at that, we're popping them and making little little bits of spooge right there, and it really <laughs> it doesn't do anything. It's so high. I mean, let's... Uh, let, let's look at this from like a side perspective. Look at oh, look at how deep this is. I mean, if we uh, untransparent the creep, we can basically see. I mean, look at look at the amount of creep. There is it's ridiculous. Um, I, I will say though, just for that fact alone, that it is that ridiculous. That's that's a winning formula right there. Uh, oh, there we go. Get rid of a shield. Uh, that should move in. Get rid of another shield fantastic again actually oh my gosh we can, I completely forgot that we can just put the eggs inside of the shield and there we go we've made our uh, ascension point so to speak uh, once we destroy that we now have a way in now that we have an a way in the creep must flow the creep flowing essentially means the creep wins uh, yes there is anti-creep flowing and you know what I don't think it's going to win. I, I just don't. There's something telling me. I mean, look at the creep. It's even flowing just along the edge here. It's ridiculous. Uh, and you know what? Just, just to be kind of, you know, a deterrent, we're just going to drop all of our eggs down here. I don't even really care. Uh, we could bomb the entire thing. We're, this is clearly a just-have-fun map. Uh, we're not here for for super serious uh, time. We're here just to enjoy what we're doing. And I'm enjoying it, I will say. Uh, the sheer amount of superpower that we have is fantastic. Um, another suggestion I would have is I love skimmers, I love blobs, I love spores. It's kind of hard to do. Um, well, first of all, if you ever use a spore, never have it be on random. Have it always target structures. It's all, all you have to do. You, you have it target structures, and you're golden there, right? That's step one basically because structures are what are essentially if, if they're not targeting structures then you can never accurately buff a spore launcher because a spore launcher might just fire nowhere so if this was firing 30 and 25 were going into this mass it, you're really wasting buffs so that's a, that's my suggestion there um i do find this little line hilarious <laughs> that it's just like creeping along the front uh and it's killing all of the mortars, which is even uh, more amazing. You know, it's like it knows this is where the mortars were. This is where I'm going. Um, so definitely have uh, spore launchers target structures so they are viable. I love the eggs flying around. Those are always great. Being able to pop the eggs, mm, even better. I love that so, so much. Um, great options there. On top of that, 
again, I, I do think this is a fun map. I like the design. I like the uh, break apart. I think it would be kind of neat if there was a little bit closer, because as you saw, I was sort of playing with some rocks and destroying some super mortars. That's actually a really fun little thing that certain people will do, but certain people won't, so it's like a, it's a, a knowledge advantage, you know? So I was able to destroy a couple. Being able to destroy a few more would be kind of nice. And again, it just gives you that little bit of satisfaction of, ooh, I thought of that. Um, so I like that point. I uh, wish there was a little bit more there. Again. You know, plenty of things. Tons of shields. Uh, careful with your shield placement. Kind of looks uh, phallic, if you will. Uh, not that that's a bad thing, if that's what you're going for. Hey, kudos to you. No problem with that. Doesn't doesn't hurt my sensibility. Um, the crimson? The crimson is always great. Kind of hard to do uh, in this regard. There was so much creep pouring out that the crimson was almost meaningless. Uh, so... You know, just a, a note there for... It's just the sheer quantity. I mean, this is literally buff up an emitter and, it, and you win. I mean, we, we literally could have just poured everything into this and it would have just taken time and we ha would have won. Again, we have tons of eggs. Uh, let's just drop them in, in here if we have any left. Why not? Don't really care. Rocks, we'll just drop over here and destroy whatever it can. Don't care. I'm going to let the creep do this because this is a map where the creep is doing its thing. Um, as you can see, they're still rebuilding things. Uh, the eggs are finally starting to pop. Well, not finally, but some of them. I guess that one was just bouncing around. But yeah, the creep will wash over the world on this one. There we go. Oh, uh, with the factory dead, all the shields have died. With all the shields being dead, this, this little beam has been released. Uh, so yeah, that is the final bit. We are going to get all the econ. I want an econ of zero, of course. Don't really care about our time on this map. We're just having some fun. Just having a good old time. And this this essentially has been the map. This is the newest map on the map creator. And I thank you for making it. Uh, I do appreciate it. I do like the uh, design where you could kind of cross over here. Those little cross points, very nice. You know, you could make a little bit of a thing so it could connect that much easier. Nice little touches there. Uh, does help for sure. And yeah, uh, no, no other real complaints there. And there it goes. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, I do like the fact, again, we can we can still put eggs right around this base just so it knows, and we can pop them. Look at that. We're really, really covering it. Oh no, do they have any econ down there? I don't want any econ on my map. Uh, we will destroy the last few things again as the creep wave comes over. It was, again, excessive amounts of creep. Like the design of the map, like what you could do in some areas, too much emitter. Uh, I know that shouldn't be a bad thing, and it, it isn't a bad thing. Again, it's fun. It's just a bit much. You know, again, all we had to do really was pump up the first emitter. That's still all we had to do. If we just, again, just kept pumping this up, uh, what would we have? 340, you know, that is... 3,400 every second. I mean, whoa. <laughs> you know, imagine having a stash right here that absorbs a 1,000 and pumps out 2,000. Oh, that would make that stash's life so meaningless. Although stashes don't have much of a meaningful life. Not to say that stashes are bad. They're just not good. Uh, so there we go. We have beaten it. Uh, definitely could have gone for a faster time, but we were having fun letting the creep roll. I enjoyed it. Uh, I would say, play it yourself, beat my time. Thank you very much for checking this out. Uh, yeah, have a wonderful day, and keep making maps, you know? That's how you get started, and it's fantastic. So, thank you very much for checking this out. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you try this map yourself. Again, we're going to do a bunch more of the newer maps, I think, uh, from time to time. I'm going to try and intersperse them, as I'm trying to sort of intersperse first first shooters. I'm trying to, you know split things up so it's not just blocks of things so i'm trying to have like a first person shooter every three or four days an l pack a regular pack and now sort of weave in new maps and things like that so thank you very much for checking this out that's where we uh, we're aiming for for the next coming weeks or so you know every single day trying to have a video and yeah please like comment subscribe uh let me know if there's any maps you want me to check out i do uh like to try what is suggested of me if there's any types of maps you want me to check out i will also try those out as well so thank you so much and have a wonderful day catch you next time